All right, this is the TV stand we, we sprayed yesterday. We sprayed the whitewash and we sanded it down with 220. And just to take a little bit of the blotchiness off, a little bit of the burrs from the water off. And it looks real nice here on the outside. We didn't do such a good job on the sanding on this top right here. It was just a little stubborn, but on the last coat, I'm going to give it one coat right now, and then I'll give it a coat of, uh, I'll mix the whitewash with a little bit of uh, high performance, and I'll even it out, use it like a stain. It'll work out fine. But this is what it's supposed to look like. Sometimes some plywood just doesn't want to stick, take it too good. But this is the way it looks. This is a new gun. I just, first time I want to use it, it's a Titan Maxim, I believe. My uh, Erlex, their guns suck. They're terrible. So I want to try this gun, see how it works, see if I like it. It's got more adjustments to it. And I'm spraying Enduro Clear. I got a whole gallon of it and I like it because it dries fast and when I use it on, on this whitewash I usually get away with one coat I spray it on one coat and then I let it dry sand it down and I'll give it a coat of flat out flat or a coat of flat whatever the customer wants this is going to my booth so I might just do just leave it satin. Who knows? So here it goes. Mask. Put my mask on, Michael.
That's it. Let it dry. I don't know, I kind of like, I'm not sure about this top right here. The top goes on here. I've distressed it quite a bit, so I don't know, I think it'll match nicely. I'll post pictures of it when it's done. Thank you. One. All right, here's the top for that TV stand. It's got black glaze. I wet sanded it. Got the idea from Michael Crane. I sprayed mahogany, brown mahogany water-based stain, sanded it. I wanted to see part of the wood in certain places. And I didn't do a good sanding on it. I still wanted to see some of the saw marks. I want it to look old. And I'm gonna put the Enduro on it. If I don't like the way it looks, I might tint some of my uh, paint. My flat out, flat, my uh, high performance, I might tint it with some red. The brown mahogany, when you sand it all the way down, it kind of looks purplish. But we'll see what it looks like once you put the clear coat over it. And by the way, this gun, love it. Absolutely love it. It sprays beautifully. And it costs the same as an Erlex, and the Erlex only lasts me about six months. Because I spray everything. I'm just going to leave my old Erlex just for primer, leave this one for finishes. I don't know, I kind of like it now more. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. It looks rough. It looks like an old, old, old piece of lumber from a barn or something. Thanks for the idea, Michael Crane. And I will be posting the video, posting pictures when it's done, put together. See what you all think. Thank you.